picture of a few of my collector phones I have in the house. I won't show them all, but most of them. An old fan, Western Electric. Western Electric. There's an old wooden Western Electric telephone. Another one up there. A couple signs. Old sign that goes on the wall. And we'll go into my telephone room here. Here's a British phone. This is my club membership old telephones. Brass Western Electric. Automatic Electric. Western phone. It actually does work. It's plugged in. Uh, phone lamp. Let's see if it actually. Oh, I got it. Plug it in. Kellogg. Here's some children's toys from the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s era. Hotel Intercom. Western Electric. That's a, that's not a real sign. That's just a reproduction. Here's my Lighted telephone sign, a working payphone, advertisement, 57 Chevy on there, telephone rates, scissor brackets, it's an old wooden telephone sign for a payphone. This is an English phone. And here I have, it's called a phone hideaway. It's got a drawer. Some old intercoms on it. That phone I currently have on eBay. Oh, it lights up. Got to turn on the display case. There, it lights up. That's what it looks like closed. It's got the word phone on there. And then we have uh, automatic electric. There's a railroad Kellogg telephone. A couple old clocks. These are uh, Darchy manufacturer. First electric battery operated alarm clock. They were made in Chicago. The company is right here. That's where the family. Yep, kind of blurry. Family run company in Chicago who manufacture them. Here is a nickel plated Western Electric. The top post, older top post receiver. There's automatic electric. This candlestick is a Western electric. It actually works. Um, it rings. You can get incoming calls. You can't really dial out. And that is an old uh, magazine ad. 
from September 26, 1914. Then we have another Western Electric with um, an old, very heavy coin collector, they call it. There's an old advertisement for Polar Cub Fan. It actually does work. That's from, uh, I believe, 1919. Thermometer. Manufacturer company in Milwaukee. Then I have my display case that has a bunch of memorabilia and all different kinds of phones. Pens and lighters, anything pertaining to telephones. It's a railroad, the accordion scissor, Stromberg Carlson candlestick. This is a European Danish telephone. An old original old sign they used to pound on telephone poles. Western Electric, the round base, was known as the 102, 202 with the oval base. And then here's another 302 Western Electric, very heavy, made them out of steel and some type of plastic, but I have both steel. Here's a Stromberg Carlson Kellogg Western Electric dial. Memorabilia, keychains, some old bill, an old postcard from the early 1900s. Here's uh, Hinkley, Illinois. My grandfather worked at the other depot on the other side of town, which is now torn down. Yeah, and then on the wall we have it's an old doorbell. An old telephone booth sign. I got my cat here. He's in my lap. Oh, and then here's a French intercom phone. Old uh, books. Plenty of old books. That's about it. This is a very unique uh, British telephone. And that's about it. I do have more throughout the house. But these are the main ones. All right. Goodbye.